the statement I'm about to make, I'm going to be called a racist. And I will be called every name under the sun. But somebody needs to stand up and speak to the black church. When the largest Pentecostal, when the largest African-American Pentecostal denomination, when that leader stands up and said, I endorse that woman, he was saying, I endorse murder. I endorse homosexuality. I endorse lesbianism. I endorse transgenderism. I endorse every evil that hell could prosper or bring up to the right. That's wrong, folks. And the black church votes predominantly for the party that is anti-God. What's going on here? What's going on? See, my statement to them is this. We, we, we've had them call into the program. Yes, I don't like it when you talk about it. Well, no, the problem is they don't like it because we're stepping on their toes. Hello? But I guarantee you, if 1860 was today, they wouldn't say a word about preachers preaching against slavery. They would trumpet it, and they should. So then, why will not the African American church stand up for righteousness and stand up for the Word of God? Come on, church! Come on! You can call me a racist, you can call me every name under the sun, but I am right! I come against you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You don't vote for somebody just because mama voted him or daddy voted for them, but you vote according to the Word of God. Come out from among them and be ye separate, says the Lord of hosts. If you are a Christian, start acting like a Christian. If you claim to be holy and righteous, start acting holy and start acting righteous. Now, I will be called a racist. I will be called every name under the sun because I get their emails. But I want to serve notice on the devil right now. I like what old Uncle Bud Robinson, the Nazarene evangelist, he said, as long as I got fist, I'm going to hit the devil. When I can't pick up my hands anymore, I'll use my feet and I'll kick the devil. And when I can't kick him and hit him anymore, I'll bite him. And when I don't have any teeth left, I'll gum the devil to death. I will not be silent. I will not shut up. This country is too great. This country is too important. This country was birthed by God. White churches set the stage for Jim and Jane Crow segregation. And y'all, they have children who are still doing the dirty deed of toxic theology. I saw yesterday that one Donnie Swaggart, who is the son of Jimmy Swaggart, had the nerve from his perch of privilege and prejudice to stand up on a Sunday and call out the black church. Wait, what? He called out the black church. He said, when you support her, didn't even call Kamala Harris by name, but said, when you support her, you are supporting sin and evil and supporting all kinds of stuff. Y'all, I'm tripping as this white boy is calling out the black church. Now, let me park here parenthetically and hope that old Donnie tunes in. Donnie, come here for just a second because first of all, the fact that there is a black church is a judgment on white Christianity because there would be no black church had the white church not been more white than they are a church. Oh, I'm on one tonight. I'm letting y'all know that right now. And Donnie, my sisters and brothers, had the nerve to call out the black church because in his mindset, we're supporting Kamala Harris while the white church is, is supporting Agent Orange because somehow Agent Orange is the candidate of their God. I get that because their God ain't my God. My God is the God who showed up in Exodus 
on the side of the oppressed. My God is the God of divine justice. My God is the God that so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. You see, God loves the world. I guess who's in that world? Palestinians are in that world. Congolese are in that world. Haitians are in that world. Gay folk are in that world. The LGBTQIA community is in that world. God so loved the world. And if you don't love the world like God loves the world, to hell with you, Donnie.